What's up? So, could you tell me what's your name? John Galilea. What are you riding? A 2007 Harley Davidson Electric Ride Ultra Classic. And what made you decide to ride the Iron Why not? Actually, I love that answer. Look, if you can go to Hill and Back and actually get a t-shirt, why not? Excellent. At Jim Bosco, I ride a 2019 Goldwing Tour. Um, I did the Iron Bot originally for the challenge, and then I liked riding with the group last year, so I decided to do it again. Excellent. Philip Esteban, I ride a 2022 uh, BMW R18 Transcontinental. Uh, the first long trip I've taken it on. I was just looking for a long trip. I signed up for this one at the last minute. Uh, I think uh, Lee commented I was one of the last, one of the, if not the last person to sign up. Now, I'm noticing something. Marine veteran. What you do in the Marines? I was a recon, uh, third recon battalion and second recon battalion. Were you uh, military? No. <coughs> Were you military? No, but a lot of my, my a lot of my family were. So I, the hat is from uh, <coughs> an event called Tour of Honor. I which heard of it. Familiar with? Yeah. So I, my brother and I, my brother's retired Air Force, and he and I have been riding Tour of Honor for the last couple of years. So really enjoy that. I and, and there's nothing wrong with not being military. No. My <laughs> most of my family's not military now. <laughs> like I tell the guys at Legion, I'm one of the sons. I tell some of the veterans. And, and that's why I was asking. I saw that on your bike and I was yeah. really impressed with that. I like that. Yeah, I actually have that made. Where'd you get that made? I, I found some guy online. He, he did derby covers. And, I like, and he had all this really neat stuff. I was like, that's cool. I sent him the badge for the Sons of American Legion. I said, can you make that? And he sent me back the proof and it was black. And I took a picture of my bike. I said, can you match it? Because I can get it closed. So I think it cost like 150 bucks. That ain't bad. No, but it does. It does match the bike. Now, first off, because you don't exist, what is your ghost name? <laughs> I'm Scribs. I'm the president of uh, IMRG Dulles, and I led this uh, iron butt group from uh, Dulles, Virginia, to Knoxville, Tennessee. And we went to hell and back together. We did go to hell and back together. It was a nice little detour that was uh, part of the trip and thought of by uh, Lee, who uh, manages this whole mess. Uh, and a lot of us went up to hell. I think about 150 of us or so went to hell and back. All right, what's the official word? How many officially went on the entire trip? Do you know? I think it was around 225 or so, but it might have been a little bit higher. Okay, because somebody was saying something about 500 had signed up or something? No, I don't think so. I'm just saying I'm, what I heard yesterday. Yeah, I yeah. Like there's no yeah, I was tracking the registration and it looked like somewhere around two and a quarter or so. Yep. Okay. And what did all the donations go to? What What's the cause of this? What is the, uh, so, so it went to a military? Operation Homefront. Operation Homefront. Um, and what's Operation Homefront do? So Operation Homefront provides support for returning vets uh, and handicapped vets and most uh, most importantly for the ride is that it's a regional organ it's a national organization with regional focus and so the money that was raised by people from virginia for example goes back to virginia operation home front i appreciate that thank you you're welcome group is still doing pretty good. Not staying together as much as I'd have liked, but they're doing pretty good for it. The reason why is I've got a couple of people who slow up a lot. And because I have to stay in back to make sure everybody's staying here, I guess speed up and slow down, which is not real good for my gas mileage. which I prefer to stay at the same speed. And what I like is you should be able to see everybody And it's nice curves, so it's giving you guys some cool view. So I'm going to shut this back off so I don't kill the battery.
I think my camera's working. If so, we are going through the Pennsylvania Turnpike. We are at the end of the toll. And we're getting ready to go into, well, in 30 miles, we will be at the Ohio Turnpike. And when Mindo Linda went through here recently, or not even a month ago, we we're on that side of it, because insanity. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this real well. I'm going to try and get a video here. The C3 or the Ciro 3D frame-mounted foot pegs have came in very handy. Normally I am in a bit of discomfort in about 150 miles and I am 248.2 and so far I am doing very well. One of my hips is a little earthed, but I think that's, we were hitting some bumps back there. But I'm able to move my feet around. It gives me all kinds of positions I can get into. It, it is very comfortable. So I'm gonna have to find Glenda hers and make sure I have them set for where she's comfortable to move her foot around. Things like that are very good. And I give Zero 3D a big thumbs up. I am very happy with their product. And yes, I did pay for it. This is not an advertisement for them, but it is telling you something I personally have bought and I personally use and I'm very happy with. This must be the next fuel stop. is nice because I wouldn't mind getting a drink. So this is our second fuel stop. We're 249.9 so far. Okay, I need my baggie. I need my wallet. And we'll be back to you soon. Am I blinking? Uh -huh. All right. As the only lady in this group, do me a favor. Tell me your name. Lori. Lori, what made you decide to go on an iron butt? Well, um, I've done a couple before, and uh, I like them, so we decided to do it again. Excellent. 
I will put this on the channel. I wanted to make sure I talked to you because I'm like, she's the only lady in her. Gotta make sure I get her yeah, on here. <laughs> All right, you. thank you. And thank you, David. David. And sir, Ed, thank you. I know you're having a voice issue, so. 